know what I'm saying? So I hope we got if you got any more questions. Oh praise. Oh praise. That's your that's your time. Yeah. All right? Yeah, I got it. Uh main thing just pointed out, you know, just the main thing, the judgment, the commandment, I mean the law. Yeah. yeah. And uh and the council. And the council. Yeah. We, that. we need you out here. We need you on this side. Same thing for you too, say we need y'all on this side doing the work, man. I appreciate you, bro. Thank y'all. Learning something, man. Learning a lot, man. I'm full oh, today. I'm oh, full like this. Oh, I'm crazy, brother, my man. Thank you. Shalom, everyone. If you like this video, subscribe with us to YouTube. Thank you. Give me a. Uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 11. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work. It's a sentence against an evil work. Go ahead. Is not executed speedily. It's not executed speedily because God is long suffering. He's patient. Go ahead. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men. Say the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them. To do evil. It's fully set on them to do evil because people think that people don't know that they're getting judged. Or just because they haven't got punished yet, they think, oh, God is good, I can keep doing the same thing. Because his judgment is not instituted speedily right away. So that's so that's where it goes into is that love part of it. You see what I'm saying? You got some more questions? Like you can yeah. have some good questions. <laughs> Based on the scripture you're talking about, yeah. chastisement. Right. So only the person would know that they are chastised by God. They will only know that. A righteous right. person. A righteous yeah. person. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah. Evil people won't know. They won't understand. Mm -hmm. it. They won't. E they won't even consider. It. That's that's. They don't understand judgment, and they it's because they don't know God. Give me uh. Where you at? Give me Psalms 111. Psalms 111 and verse. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. Because they don't, they don't understand judgment because they don't fear God. Because remember, fearing God is to be afraid of his judgment. Now watch this. The fear of the Lord. So the fear of the Lord is what? Is the beginning of wisdom. So when you start your, to look for God, the fear of the Lord is the beginning to gain wisdom. If you don't fear God, if you don't fear his judgment, you will never gain that wisdom because that's the start of your wisdom. Go ahead. Hey, go ahead. What I've learned is that now I, I got it. I got that point. I got what I've learned is that you're talking about the fear of the Lord, the judgment. You have to know the judgment first. Right. 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 Okay. Right. So I right. just learned. I learned that. So based on you saying that scripture and explaining it, so I, uh, uh, I have praise. that. I put uh, that uh, together. Like, all right. Uh, all praise. Nice. That's praise. what we heard from. Read that again. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's the beginning of our wisdom. When you start to understand why you should fear the Lord. Go ahead. A good understanding. And a good understanding. To have a good understanding of the Bible. Go ahead. Have all they. Have all they that what? That do his commandments. That do the commandments. When you start to do the commandments, that's when you gain understanding. The, give me a wisdom of Solomon chapter 4. When you start to get out of sin, give me a... Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1. When you get out of sin, that's when you start to understand God. That's when you start to understand his judgment and his wisdom. As long as we in sin, you can't gain wisdom. Watch this. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and verse 4. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 4. For into a malicious soul. Into a malicious soul, a soul full of malice. Wisdom shall not enter. Wisdom can't enter a soul that's full of malice. Go ahead. Nor dwell. Wisdom can't dwell. Stay. Go ahead. In the body. In a body that is subject unto sin. You see that? Wisdom can't stay with people that's subject to sin. Watch this. Go, let's see why. Wisdom of Solomon 4, verse 11. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, and verse 11. Ye speedily was he taken away, lest the wickedness should alter his understanding. He said, Wickedness, sin, alters our understanding. See that wickedness sin it alters our understanding we start to go off what we think is right give me proverbs 12. we start to think of when we in sin we, the 
first thing we want to do is justify it. So we start to, we put the scriptures down, and then we go off our own mind. Proverbs 12 and 15. Um, make a point. Yeah. So you're basically saying somebody is going off their opinion. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Proverbs 12 and 15. The way of a fool. The way of a fool. Go ahead. Is right in his own eyes. Is right mm -hmm. in his own eyes. You see that? You start going into your own opinion. Give me that uh, opinion and thing in the pocket. You got to look it up. Read that again. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. Go ahead. But he that hearken unto counsel. But he that hearken unto the counsel, the counsel of God and the counsel of the elders. Go ahead. Is wise. Is wise. So that's why it goes into God's going into counsel. Uh, look up vain opinion. Look up that scripture. Vain opinion. Vain opinion. Vain opinion. Vain opinion. So you basically talking about just going to the scriptures and go to the elders as well. Yeah, yeah. Counsel is the word, right? Because yeah, you can counsel, get counsel, counsel the word. but it's, it's also going to be men. Men. Because God sent men. He sent he sent men, prophets, to that know and study God's will to give you counsel according to the scripture. Give me that in uh well you probably I'm looking for it. Oh, yeah. I right, go ahead, go ahead. Are you, are you talking about you can get counsel by studying the word? And, and and through an elder elder yeah so the elder when you get counsel from an elder the elder is always gonna give you counsel through the word give me uh hold that but read this then give me first Peter 4 4 and 11. the book of ecclesiastes chapter 3 and 24. for many are deceived by their own vain opinion you see that it say like many are deceived by their own vain opinion go ahead and evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment the evil suspicion overthrow their judgment they overthrow what's wrong and right because they got evil on their mind now watch this uh so i say uh we get counsel from men if the men that you get counsel from is going to be the men of god and they go use the bible to give you the answer to give you that counsel watch this first peter chapter 4 and verse 11 if any man speak if any man speak go ahead let him speak as the oracles of God. You see that? They go speak as the oracles of God. That's how you see we give answer in every question with scriptures. We don't we don't give our opinion. We don't give how we think it should be. We gonna give you so that counsel is from God because we're giving it to you with the word. You go back, it's your job to go back and study the scriptures that you give. And now you start to understand, okay, that this is how I go about this situation because it's right here in the Bible. You saying now you all are the council right now because you all are giving the word of God and strengthening the person that's listening. Exactly. Okay. Give me Isaiah okay. 58. Most people are uh, most people of us, most people don't understand that, that they're getting counsel right. from the word that you all are putting out there. Exactly. So that's very important. Our oh, praise because uh give me uh Proverbs 15. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's the council. Right, okay. right. Okay. Hey, give me that. Uh, okay. What was that? Do nothing without advice. We just read that. So, Rock 30. Was it 33? That's, that's, I don't think most people understand. That's right. The council part. Yeah. They don't understand yeah. when, the, when, when you all are putting out the word that they're getting counsel and a lot of other things benefits. Yeah. Yeah. From God. Yeah, you that's uh that's also correction and rebuke. You know, counsel counsel is mostly just correction. Like I'm I'm correcting you based on the scripture. You got it? Is it 33 and 19. The book of so the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 32, verse 19. Do nothing without advice. You see that? It say, do nothing without advice. Go ahead. And when thou hast once done, repent not. And then once you get that counsel, that advice, you don't have to repent. You know what I'm saying? Because you got that counsel. That godly man should give you counsel based on the word. Because that's what, that's what God, when you read the Bible, he always sent somebody to give his word. He always sent people out to give his word. And that's give me uh, Luke 14. That's what we're doing now. That's what Christ commanded. Go out to the highways and byways. 
Give me Isaiah 58 and verse 1. Isaiah 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud. Say, cry aloud. Go ahead. Spare not. Spare not. Go ahead. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. That's why we got the microphone out here. We want everybody to hear us, hear the word all the way over there. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And show my people. And show our people. Go ahead. Show God's people. Go ahead. Their transgression. Their transgression. Go ahead. Where they wrong. Correct them. Go ahead. In the house of Jacob. In the house of Jacob. Their sins. Their sins. That's what we're supposed to do. Show people their sins. Uh, what you got uh, somebody give me a time check. Now, uh, brother, they get you got a flyer. Uh, we have we have live classes every Saturday. I'm a, okay. okay, yeah, we have live classes every Saturday at four thirty. Uh, if if you got a phone, provide, have wife provide for your children. Come out and get yourself together. And then you're supposed to come out and help get the next man together. So that's what we believe. We got our, uh, our, you know, we got our sisters, we got our children. You know, that's why that's why we want people that's serious. You know what I mean? Because we got our women, our wives, and our children there. So we just don't want anybody coming in that's not serious. You know what I mean? So, uh, Brother Darnell, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to jump on today, uh, 430 live class. It's about, it's about 4 or 4. You might be a little late today because you're late right now. You're late right now. But, uh, and it's a number on there. You can, uh, call us on the back. It's a 399 number. You can call us at, at any time if you got some questions. If you come across a scripture and you say, hey, what does scripture mean? Like, we, we do deal like that, too. You know what I'm saying? So, I hope we got, if you got any more questions. Oh, praise. Oh, praise. That's your time. Yeah. All right? Yeah, I got it. Uh, main thing that's pointed out, you know, just the main thing, the judgment, the commandment, I mean, the law. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and the council. And the council. Yeah. And let me show you this. Get Deuteronomy 28. I don't want you to leave without hearing this. Deuteronomy 28. Get Exodus 20. Deuteronomy 20. Because remember, he was reading about the curses. The curses was a sign. Uh, and, uh, and a wonder on who we was gonna be. Uh, before that, give me Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17 and verse four. So this was one of the curses. Jeremiah 17 and verse four. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. He said you was gonna be, you was gonna be discontinued from my heritage. Go ahead. That I gave thee. That he gave us. Go ahead. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. And I'm going to cause you to serve your enemies. Go ahead. In the land which thou knowest not. In the land that we don't know. Go ahead. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. We kindled a fire in God's anger. So he said, uh, so we're going to read this curse. Watch this curse. Get verse 68. Now give me Exodus 20. So we're going to read this curse because remember, the curses is a sign. Verse 68. If we go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. How did we get to America? Uh, from Africa. Yeah. They say through ships. The, 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 the ships. Remember? Uh, go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt he said, again. He said, I'm going to bring you. So this one of the curses. Remember, Moses had just freed them out of Egypt. So he said, one of the curses for breaking the commandments is I'm going to take you into Egypt again. So let's see what he means by Egypt. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. He said, I brought you out of the land of Egypt. Watch what he called Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. He called Egypt the house of bondage or slavery. Because that's where we were slaves at. Our ancestors, we were slaves in Egypt. So he said, one of the curses is, go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with so, ships. He said, I'm going to bring you into slavery or bondage again, but this time with ships. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He said, I'm going to bring you into bondage again with ships. Go ahead. By the way, wherefore I spake unto thee. He said, just how it's going to happen, just how I'm speaking it to you. Go ahead. Thou shalt, thou shalt see it no more again. I mean, you ain't going to see your homeland again. And uh, what happened? As soon as we got off the ships, what did they do to us? Freedom. They did what? Freedom. They freedom. didn't free us. Uh -huh. When we got off the ship, then they brought us to America. We got sold. off the ships. What they did what? Sold. They sold us, right? Okay. Go ahead. 
and there you shall and be there, sold. And there, when you get off those ships, go ahead. You shall be sold unto your enemies. You're going to be sold unto your enemies, go ahead. For by men and by women. For slave men and slave women. So the worst, the worst thing that happened to us in our history is one of the biggest things that proved we the people of the book. You know what I'm saying? That's that's that prophecy. That's why it makes the Bible so uh, strong. Is the prophecies in there? And those some of these prophecies are now history. So when you look in history and say, who did that happen to? That was the. And you look at all the curses. Now you can identify. Who are the children of Israel in 2023? So that's what we teach. We teach we're not black, we're not African American, we're not Negro, we're not a real nigga, we're not bad bitch. We are the children of Israel. And we got to come back to God as God chosen people and repent. So that's what we teach too. So I want to give you the full, kind of a quick summary of that history. Because remember, we lost our heritage. We don't know who we are. And it was in the Bible the whole time. The whole time, the answer was right there. So that's what we teach. And these people don't want us to know that. They don't want us to know that. But if the, if the bag is off the, or if the rabbit is off the hat now. Is that, is that how it goes? The rabbit is off the hat. That's all the Well, we got brother on there. Uh, if you could jump on today, appreciate that. Just type your uh, type some in the chat so we can see your name and we'll know, man. We, we want to get you up there. We need you out here. We need you on this side. Same thing for you, T. Say we need y'all on this side doing the work, man. I appreciate right, you, bro. Thank y'all. Learning something. Man, learning a lot, man. I'm full oh, today. I'm oh, full crazy. like this. Oh, <laughs> 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 crazy, brother, man. Thank y'all.